Now don't go before you hear this. Now read the Bible. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and thy mother. Listen, this is a law, eh? Honor your father and your mother. Come on. And he that cursed father or mother, let him die the death. That's the judgment. You hear what the Bible is saying? If you don't honor your father and your mother, what's going to happen to you? Let him die the death. You must drop dead and die. This is God speaking. So if you don't honor your father and your mother, you're going to die. You're going to catch a disease, you'll drop dead and die. So listen, man, what you need to understand, young man, is this. This Bible is going to teach you how to live. Let me give you a simple example. Do you obey your parents? Do you? Do you respect your parents? Okay. Do you have your, do you, do you? Because you're shaking your head. You do. Okay, when you talk to your father, right? Do you say, when? What do you say? You say, Baba. When? When? You say, you say, Baba. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes. You said yes, right? You said yes. Now give me Exodus 20 verse 12. You said you honor your parents, right? That's what you said. Do you have a girlfriend? Mm. Is he lying? Is he lying? See, you're lying, man. Exodus 20 verse 12. Of Exodus chapter 20 verse 12. Listen good. Honor thy father and thy mother. Because right now, now stay right here. You must listen to this. Hold on, bro. You must listen. This is that's why you see this right here is personal. It must be. Read again, verse 12. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days may be that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Stop. You say you have a girlfriend, Wenagi, but you just said a minute ago you honor your parents. You don't. Why do you have a girlfriend for? You don't honor your parents. If she falls pregnant, do you have a job? So how are you gonna pay for it? Hold on, my bro. Wait, 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 wait. I'm asking you a question. I'm saying, do you have a job? You have a girlfriend. So, how are you gonna take care of this woman? You don't have a job. You're still living with your parents. Yeah, that's it. Now hold on. Wait, wait. If she falls pregnant, wait, wait. If she falls pregnant, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Do you want to get a job now? I'm asking. Are you going to get a job if she falls pregnant? It's a simple question. So what I'm showing you is, First Kings 2, I'm showing you that you're not a man yet. You're not ready for a woman, man. You see, that's murder. Abortion is murder. Um, abortion is murder, plain and simple. Now read First Kings 2. This is what it means to be a man. Listen good. First of Kings chapter 2 verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh, and he should die. Now this is King David talking to his son. Read. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong therefore, and show thyself a man. This is how you show yourself to be a man. He's going to show you how. That's a good question. Keep reading. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. You keep the charge of the Lord thy God, you mean you obey your parents. Honor your father and your mother. Read. To walk in his ways, to walk in the ways that are written in this book. Read. To keep his statutes, uh -huh. his commandments, and his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. So now, the Bible is telling you what it means to be a man. Wait, hold on. We're not right now going to need girlfriend. You are not ready for a girlfriend. Man. So hold on. Your father and your mother. They cannot be dealing with you and not busy with that girlfriend. When she falls pregnant, who do you Well, why not you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. My brother, you must stop doing it. You're still a, you're still a boy, you're not a man yet. Yeah, exactly, now that you know, we honor your parents, man. Hold on, wait, wait. Well, why not you see, the reason why I said you honor your parents, you said yes. Then you say you have a girlfriend. 
But go on, and when I'm challenging you, you having a girlfriend is wrong. Well, when you are out, you are, you are parking, you are talking back. So that means if your parents were to tell you, stop, stop having a girlfriend, you are going to fight with your parents. What you want to do? It's not obvious. It's not obvious, man. Because if it was obvious, right now, of course, right now, you honoring your parents, do they have to tell you? Because we enjoy showing you right here in the Bible that you having a girlfriend is wrong. You're too young for it. You're too young for a girlfriend, man. You're not ready to be a father. Are you ready to be a father? No, so stay away from the girlfriend. And, and guess what? Your parents are still buying clothes for you. So you're not a man yet. You're not paying rent. You're not buying food. You see what I'm saying? You do wash your own clothes. You see? You're not ready, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Is he ready? You're not ready, man. Are you ready? How old are you? Ah, uh, please, you're still, a, you're still way behind the ears, man. You still, you're not a man yet. Just because you are tall, don't make you a man. You're still a boy. You're still living under your parents' roof. Because if that, 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 that sister, it's not a sister, it's still a girl. If that girl was pregnant, what you gonna do? Well, what on we so? We don't eat us, we don't eat us, we Oh no, what you gonna do? We don't eat Exactly, well, one of you are not ready to man up to take responsibility. So you're not ready for a girlfriend, so stay away from one. Yes. You're what? Okay, what's the question? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to know the question behind the question, because we want to know the follow-up question. Ask, answer, ask the follow-up question. Because your question do not have no sense. Eh? Hold on, wait, wait. It's very simple. Where now are you gonna honor your parents? You see? So you know what you're gonna do? Give me that in Matthew 15. Because if you don't honor your parents, this is the judgment. Of course I do. That's what I mean. We are still dealing with you honoring your parents. Don't run away from that because the reason why you keep answer asking other questions is because you don't honor your parents. Man. You must honor your father and your mother. You cannot be going around with any girlfriend. You are too young for that. You are not ready to be a father, man. So stop it. Now read the Bible. Matthew 15, verse 3, when it says, He that kisses his father and mother. Read it. Matthew 15, verse 3. Listen good. Listen. And he answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Why do ye also trust? No. Read verse 4. Matthew 15, verse 4. Now don't go before you hear this. Now read the Bible. For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and thy mother. Listen, this is a law, eh? Honor your father and your mother. Come on. And he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. That's the judgment. You hear what the Bible is saying? If you don't honor your father and your mother, what's going to happen to you? Let him die the death. He must drop dead and die. This is God speaking. So you don't honor your father and your mother, you're going to die. You're going to catch a disease, you'll drop dead and die. So, are you going to honor your father and your mother, man? So you're going to stop chonari? Yeah. Chonari will kill you, man. So if you know, why don't you stop? Why don't you go school and have a routine next? Because go school and is supposed to teach you to stay away from a girl, man. No, listen. First of all, you have mathematics again. You have science again. You have English again. All through, your father and your mother must teach you what? Don't steal. Don't murder. You understand? Don't lie. Don't commit adultery. Again, scratch all. Yes. Yeah. The, the teacher teaches you English, Africans, it okay? But conclude, your father and your mother, they teach you what you must do. What? Don't steal again. Skawa mag again. Skarova lan again. Skawa le poli girlfriend again. But when why do you have it? So that means, when you decided, 
You're not going to listen to what your father and your mother say. That means he's going to die. Yes. When? When the Lord decides that I'm going to kill you, but he'll kill you. When is that? And you're not going to see it coming. Okay, what is judgment? judgment Day. No. You really want to know about Judgment Day? Yes. Yes. In Revelation 21? Yes. I'm going to show you. But the thing is, you didn't take the answer. What, what was the answer? What was the question? No, We're reading it to you, Muslim. No, 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 listen. This, no, no, listen. This Bible right here. How do I know you? Do I know you? So how do how did I get to speak to you? By, By doing what? By reading the Bible, right? So I'm not gonna read the Bible. I'm not gonna leave the Bible out of my conversation with you. This is the reason why I know you because of this book. Now read the Bible. Revelation 21. Read verse seven. Now listen good. Now this includes the people that are jollering also. I agree you're asking about Judgment Day. Let's read about it. Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 7. Read. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Read. But the fearful and unbelieving are those that don't believe the Bible. Right? I give the Bible says, Uska Joel. When I was Joel, that means you're falling under this category. Again, read. And the abominable uh, murderers. And homemongers. Homemonger is only girlfriend. You are a homemonger. Homemonger give give on us fair. Yes. I agree. You are not married. You are not heavy. You are not married. Only girlfriend. So therefore, go ahead. And homemongers and sorcerers and idolaters. Baloi sorcerers. Abatagati. What's going to happen to them? All liars. Liars. What's going to happen? Shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. The lake that burns with fire. I get right now when you look at the ocean, it's full of what? So now, but the one that you're going to be in is the one that is full of fire. You're going to be in there. We're reading right now. Go ahead. Which is the second death? Which is the second death? I think you wanted to know about the, the final judgment. This is the final judgment. So if you don't stop jollering, another thing, did you know that blunting your hair is a sin? Yes. Blunting your hair. It's a sin. Yes, yes. Read it. Because it's a sin. You're breaking the commandment. I'm going to show you. Hold on. We're getting there. You see, you can't make it up. Man. So when we talk to the adults, then you run in, you're going somewhere else. We're dealing with the blonde hair right now. No, 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 we're not, not yet. Yeah, that's fine. But let's deal with the blonde hair first. You see, you can't make it up, man. You know what I want? The week 13. Verse 13. Yes. Listen, it's not complete, it's simple, man. Listen good. Pay attention, man. Come on. Listen, why not you don't respect your parents, man? You don't. You don't listen. You don't listen. Come on. Listen good. The book of Leviticus chapter 13 verse 30. Listen to what the Bible is saying. Then the priest shall see the plague. What is the plague? plague. A plague. plague. Not plague. Plague. P-L-A-Q-U-E. Plague. Plague is a disease. Go ahead. And behold, if it be inside deeper than the skin. Listen, let him go. You can let him go. You listen to this book. Because your parents must make sure, God, you don't want your parents to be proud of you when you grow up, man. You do, man. So do you want your parents to waste their money taking you to school? And when are you impregnate a girl? Come on, man. Be, use wisdom, man. Yeah, we're going there. Come on, pay attention. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. What is a yellow hair? Blonde hair. Go ahead. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. So when you have blonde hair, you are unclean. Yes. For only what now? Doesn't matter if it's not natural. You are unclean. But here, uh, hold on. But now we all wait. We are dealing with blood specifically now. Pay attention. We are dealing with what you have on your head. Again, again. Right. Go ahead. It is a dry skull. It's a dry skull. Come on. Even a leprosy. Upon a what? A leprosy upon the head of Pierre. So what is a leprosy? What is leprosy? Leprosy is a disease where you are pale. You understand that? That's what leprosy is. You see why people, 
they have leprosy naturally. Yeah, they are sick. Yes. Yeah, they are sick. To do what? No, there's a reason why the God created them. They're going to die in the end. Now, when what you must do, blonde hair, you must stop it. Yeah. Or were you born? If you're born with it, it's fine. Were you born with it? Were you born with your eyebrows like that? Okay, so it's time to change it back, man. Come on, man. Because, okay, wait, wait, listen. Do you understand what we just read? Okay, so these things, man. I get it. Let me ask you a question. Your parents, your father, did you not then say about what you have in your head? They didn't ask you. Good man, you insane. They ask you, right? You know why they ask you? Because they know it is not right, but they just cannot show you in the Bible because they forgot. No, listen, listen. Your parents, some of your parents, they do things to make you happy, but they are not happy doing it. Because they know if they say no, they know you pay. So that's why I'm but you find your father and your mother, they were arguing, when you mustn't do blonde hair. You understand? 